Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. This morning I was having a conversation with a new Slender for Life uh, weight loss client and and we were talking about eating a plant-based eating strategy and, and if you've done any reading in my book or read uh, many of my blog posts or watched uh, some of my videos, you know, I, I talk about plant-based eating strategy, eating real food, vegetables, whole grains, fruits, and and this woman said to me that she, uh, in, her, in her house, in her family, that they almost never eat red meat. She couldn't remember the last time that she ate red meat. But she eats chicken almost every day. And, and I hear that type of, of comment frequently, and, and I literally have to scratch my head and go, I don't get it. What, what difference does it make whether you eat chicken or red meat? And, and it reminded me of, of a, a study that actually my son in Minneapolis, Josh, had sent to me uh, several weeks ago, something that he had found on National Public Radio. And uh, here's what NPR had to report on their website. According to a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, the more meat we eat, the more weight we gain. In fact, people gained about four more pounds over a five-year period for every extra 250 grams of meat they ate daily, according to a new analysis of a large European nutrition study. That's like adding a 450-calorie steak to your dinner every night. Eating lots of red meat can increase health risks, but now scientists have found that consuming lots of chicken is bad for your weight, too. Americans consume about 60 pounds of chicken per person per year. Pre-cooked, breaded, and fried chicken strips have made that really easy. You know, folks, uh, you know, there's, there's so many reasons to stay away from chicken and fish and beef and pork and so many reasons to, to focus on, on a plant-based eating strategy and, and not only for taking weight off and keeping it off, but just overall health and the, and the health risks of, of eating uh, animal proteins and animal products. And if you're at all concerned about protein, I'd, I'd urge you to go to uh, Dr. John McDougall's website, drmcdougall.com, or go to uh, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine's website and take a look at, at what they say your protein needs are. You'll discover that it's very little, very minimal, and you're gonna get all the protein and complete proteins uh, by eating vegetables and whole grains and, and some fruits throughout each and every day that it's almost impossible to have a, a protein deficiency unless you've had some medical issue like a, a gastric bypass surgery or perhaps some medications or other health issue. But if you're, you know, the average person walking down the street, protein is, is, is not an issue you need to be concerned about. Even extreme athletes. Uh, are going to get plenty of protein, complete proteins from, from the vegetables and, and the whole grains. And, and one of the things that uh, I heard yesterday from a client uh, was about how easy it is to eat this way. And she was talking about how in the past in her family, and this woman is a fairly powerful executive, she travels a lot, and, and she struggled at how to prepare meals, plan and shop for meals, and being gone all the time, and, and being out of state, and, or on an airplane in the airport somewhere, and, and getting things set up for her family for the week. And she said, you know, when we took all the meat out of the house and stopped serving meat, she said it was amazing how easy it became to put a pot of brown rice on, you know, on the rice cooker, and, and to get salads made, or you get vegetables steamed, or cooked, or roasted, and or I get things chopped up and cooked, and, or chopped up and prepared, ready to cook, and have it in baggies in the refrigerator, and how long vegetable dishes would last, several days, a full week in fact, that she could make these things up in advance. Very healthy, very nutritious, very color colorful, very flavorful foods that she discovered her kids actually liked and enjoyed. She could prepare them all in advance, and it was easy. And they kept, and they stayed fresh. Whereas meat products, she just couldn't do that with. And she ended up serving them frozen products and, and a lot of processed foods back in the days when, when she served her family meat. And she just thrilled it at uh, how, how simple it's become for her in, in preparing uh, healthy meals. And, and that's one of the things that I often hear from folks too, is, is they think that by making a switch from animal-based uh, 
uh, meals to a, a vegetable and, and whole grain based meal that it's going to be tough, it's going to be challenging, it's not going to taste good, they don't know what they cook, it's going to take forever. You know, folks, it is so easy and there's so many resources out there for you to get healthy, nutritious, plant-based uh, recipes from. Uh, take a look at fatfreevegan.com, at fatfree.com, at drmcdougal.com, at vegsource.com, and pcrm.org. Between those five web websites, my guess is there's over 7,000 free, very healthy recipes uh, that you have access to. So telling me that it's dull and boring, it's not gonna work. You know, and, and sure there's some of those recipes, I've tried them and they were nasty. And I've discovered some very, very wonderful recipes. So it's like any cookbook, some you try you like, some you don't. And to me, a recipe is a guideline. I never follow it exactly anyway. But allow yourself to play, to have fun with it. Let go of the idea of, of needing chicken or fish or beef or pork or anything like that. I urge you, take a look at eating a plant-based eating strategy. Improve your health, take weight off. If I can support you in your journey, please give me a call, 206-903-1232 or send me an email, roger, at hypnosishealthinfo.com. If you live here in Puget Sound, I'll have you come here to my office here on Bainbridge Island, or over in Seattle in the Medical Dental Building. Once a month, I'm over in Twilight Country over there at Forks. If you live too far away, then uh, call me, email me, and together you and I will work out a program using the telephone, the internet, Skype. We'll set up a program that will support you in your success. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info.